So, what do you do when Edwin and Ethan from Grindhard Plumbing invite you on the first ever Power Wheels Overland Adventure? Well, you figure out how to carry your camping gear, that's what you do. While the other guys opted to build trailers to haul their gear, I decided to build a rear rack. Here's how I did it. I'm going to turn this chromoly tubing into some couplers for a special project. So I'm going to braise these little uh, coupling nut connectors on here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any brazing, so this ought to be fun. Now I've got a gas flux unit in line uh, on the acetylene line, so it adds flux into it so I don't have to add flux manually with this setup. Alright, I'm going to throw this in a tin can, let it cool slowly so it doesn't uh, heat treat it at all. Alright, so you can see there's four binders on there. I'll slice this thing in half and it will become two halves that you can bolt together and clamp onto a tube. Alright, check this out. The beginnings of a cargo rack for a Power Wheels Overland trip. Had to make it to where I can remove it easily. There it is. Adding some bag supports that will also hold uh, Rotopax containers on the inside. Them. The old mini grave digger expedition rig is turning out pretty well. Got this rack that I'm building. Got a bunch of Rotopax containers on here. Two gallon gas and then two one gallon gas. So two, two gallon water and the uh, two gallon sized uh, toolbox. And then I'll be able to just throw my uh, tent and sleeping bag and all that kind of crap just right on top. I think it's going to work pretty slick. Well, there it is. Completed rack. Got it all powder coated and mounted back on there. Let's hope it holds together for this trip. Fire it up again, Ethan. Alright. <laughs> Holy cow! It, driving. it sounds, just, you know, the way it revs and stuff, it sounds fully like a monster truck. That's awesome. Yeah.
Is that one already bent? <laughs> uh, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, found the capacity. Oh. <laughs> That's the upgraded model. I got the eight here for you. Oh, is that what that is? Well, I'm you think you'll be above the dust level in there? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> What's the furthest you've ever driven it? About uh, 10 minutes. So this is going to be uh, an episode of uh, Cramps R Us. <laughs> Cramps R Us. <laughs> I'll swap you for Sendy anytime you get bored. <laughs>
if you do, I'm filming it. <laughs> Three inches back, Mike. Oh, that's it. Uh, no, another inch. Yeah. Moto Mule is earning its name today. <laughs> giant rock right in front of your right front or left front tire that you were riding up on. Yeah! Steering and weight for the win. Shifting. Made it to our camp spot for the night. Not a bad 360 degree view.
And just the clutch in general was not happy about trying to pull that trailer up the hill yesterday in the kernel. So once again, Mike's gonna come to the rescue and tow our extremely heavy overland trailer with his extremely heavy grave digger. <laughs> with all the gearing. Um, Cause yeah, the, the clutch just isn't having pulling that trailer today and we need to be able to keep driving. So we'll throw the ball back on here and hopefully the kernel's got enough clutch left to drive itself with me in it. So Mike was towing our trailer with Gravedigger and I was following close behind with Cinderella and I just see the trailer completely detach and flip over twice. It was awesome. I just heard a bang. That's all it was. And then I heard the tongue because the tongue is still attached to the back. I heard the tongue ding 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 ding, ding dragging by me. I'm like, I better pull over. <laughs> That's that Harbor Freight life. broken clean off. How far back was it? <laughs> I don't know, you made it a few hundred yards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Looks like it broke your, it had like a half link. Yep. Yeah. Shoot. Now my whole job in life is just hitting the brakes and trying not to run over the rope. <laughs> we got some miles of this coming up. Honestly, no place I'd rather be. <laughs> this is fun. So I completely lost the brakes. Turned out I just burnt them to a crisp and we're out of fluid. So the new idea is to let gravity do most of the work. And when gravity doesn't work, you're just gonna give me a little push, right? Right. <laughs> That's about all we can do. The extra chain is in the trailer and those guys are long gone so as long as it stays pretty 
steep though. This should be fine. Yeah, I'll just putt behind you. <laughs> push to get you going. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. I know you're already a real dad, but in a lot of ways, you're the grind hard dad. <laughs> we just come into everything underprepared, <laughs> and you always save us well, every time we hang out. <laughs> hey, well, you guys bring fun to my life. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you are a grind hard dad. Yep. <laughs> This Power Wheels Overland trip turned out to be one of the most fun weekends of my life. Be sure to go check out the videos that both Grindhard Plumbing Company and Rather Be Welding are putting out on this trip. It's going to be a ton of fun for you to see it from each perspective. Thank you for watching.